Hey everybody, it's Garden Sound. I'm coming back to you with a quick Da Vinci tutorial. I was working on a project earlier for a friend of mine, and I realized that I didn't know how to do something in Da Vinci that I think is probably a common thing that people need to know how to do, uh, nor did I see any tutorials that were um, readily available on YouTube's search algorithm that would answer the question. And the question is, how do I take a video that I've worked on in widescreen format, right, a 16 by nine or something, and how do I make it look good on Instagram? The reason I'm here is because I followed an excellent YouTube tutorial for Premiere, right? And that kind of led me down the path um, to, to, to get to where I needed to be in DaVinci, but it did take a bit of finagling. So I thought I'd make this quick video to help out anybody that's in a similar situation. Here is what the video originally looked like when I edited it uh, with the correct project settings. I was in uh, 1080p, so it's 1920 by 1080. All right. All right, and you can see just by going back and forth between the last aspect ratio and this one, the problem. The problem is, in DaVinci, if you want to make something you worked on in widescreen with uh, titles like this, right? In order to make that uh, fit, you have to actually render the entire video as a different aspect and then import it again in order to do the cool blurring effect that people do on Instagram, right? Because if I go down to the project settings and I just change it right here, so let's go, let's go to uh, 4 by 5 so uh, 1080 by 1350 Here's the problem. It ruins my edit. So DaVinci is smart enough to take the footage, right, from, from Bill's camera and conform it to the new ratio and puts a black bar at the top and a black bar at the bottom, but it's not smart enough to know that it needs to do that for everything else in the, in the timeline, right? So text, um, titles, pictures, animation, et cetera, et cetera. So how do we get around this? Don't worry, there's a workaround. I'm gonna go ahead and put this project back to how it was. 920, sorry, bear with me a second. All right, so let's pretend it's widescreen. All right, if you go to the delivery page in DaVinci, you can get the option under custom render to use a custom um, resolution. So you can actually render the video in 1080 by 1350 or four to five. And what you get is this. Are you sick and tired of your music sounding like dog sh It's a really funny commercial. I can't wait for it to come out. But the top and bottom have these black bars, and this is all rendered. But the text at least uh, fits, you know? Like if I zoom into a part where there's text, give me a second to scrub the timeline. Right. Text is normal now because the entire widescreen video is rendered down to a different aspect ratio on the render page. And so DaVinci is smart enough to do it there. Okay, so now what do you do? We wanted to get it to look like that blurred cool bokeh on Instagram. Well, what you do, right, so you re-import that footage, right? And you change the project settings at the same time to reflect the new resolution, uh, which in our case is 1080 by 1350, what we just rendered at, okay? Uh, Ta-da, now everything fits. Isn't that great? Text is all nice and good. You just got these black bars. All right, so what do we do about the black bars? We're going to unlink these clips. We're going to grab the video clip and we're going to uh, basically duplicate it and put it on top of itself. Uh, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to crop the top one and expand the bottom one, right? So we're going to get rid of the black bars by using cropping. Boom. Do the same thing on the bottom. All right. Now what we've got is this video where we've got the video in the middle and then a video on top, video on bottom, right? So the way we differentiate between foreground and background is we use a lens blur. So we're going to toss a lens blur onto the background. And you can see it's already looking better. All right. Now we're going to go to open effects. Um, and we're going to increase the blur size so it's more obvious that it's a blurred background. And that's how you get that Instagram bokeh feel in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions or if you know a better way to do it, please leave me a comment down below. Thanks very much. Toodles.